Yo. Ah. What is going on, guys? 50%. 50. 50. That's over half. 50% of you guys voted for the Acroprovic tight, not titanium, the Acroprovic carbon for the Yamaha MT-09, for my Yamaha MT-09. Now, I like what you guys are thinking. It's all about performance and it's a nice exhaust, all that carbon sleekness. But, this is not the video today. This is the video. Yo, what's good guys? In today's video, I thought, who's a better guy than me to tell you guys about the MT-07 and the MT-09 and compare them? Because I own the MT-07 for a year and a half. And now I own the 2017 MT-09, so I must be the best guy for the job, huh? <laughs> so in today's video, that's what we're going to talk about. Stay tuned. Okay, so first things first, I have to get this off my chest. This is the first, most important part of this video. If you are a beginner rider, do not buy the MT-09. It is not a beginner bike. If you buy the MT-09 as your first bike, you're, you're trying to commit suicide. That's my perspective on that. But even if you've only had a little bike here or there, don't buy the MT-09, just please don't. I'll feel guilty if you have a crash because it's way too much power. The MT-07, now that's a different story. The MT-07, if you've got decent motorcycling experience already, I would say the MT-07, yeah, I'd say you could get away with, with that as a first proper big bike if you've got experience of riding a bike before. The MT-07 really does a great job. It's predictable, it's powerful. Now, one of the things is the price is very comparable in a lot of countries. I know I've seen people in America say there's only a thousand dollar difference. That's not the case here. It's not the case in probably most places, I think. But don't let the price persuade you to choose the 09 because, like I said, if you don't have that experience, it's going to come back and bite you, man. It really is. Okay, so now that we've got the beginner rider, starter rider part of the conversation out of the way, let's go into actually comparing the bikes. Now, the 09 is far more powerful. Make no mistake about it. But they make their power in very different ways. And what I mean by that, if you don't have the experience, and it takes quite a lot of money and time to get the experience, but if you don't have it, what I mean by that is a twin versus a triple are very different types of bikes. They're very different types of engines. If you do have the experience of it, you probably know which one you prefer. I mean, are you serious? Look at that smoke. Fucking hell. Is it a forest fire or a flipping pickup? So, look at this lovely mountain air now turned to complete black crap. So I'm gonna assume at this point that you guys kind of know something have decent knowledge about motorcycling and, and engines and bikes twins are very punchy they're very poppy they're very bu -bu 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 -bu. you get parallel twins cross plane twins and then you get v twins and stuff like that too but the mt07 specifically 
what I found about that bike is being a twin and a 690 with 75 horsepower is it was very punchy down low and that's what twins do they're punchy down low and they'd have less power afterwards whereas a triple is more linear smoother still has good low down but has loads up top too so it depends what kind of performance that you guys are looking for now i felt that personally the 07 was very easy to manipulate the power because it was very predictable it basically had less pull or less punch the faster you went where this bike is more of a mid-range type of bike it still has good low down like the 07 but it still has mid-range too so the 07 was very easy to know when the power is coming in when when you can wheelie it maybe when you can pop the wheelie pop a wheel up and do a wheelie i would say the mt07 is more user friendly when you don't have as much experience but quite frankly i'm very surprised especially when you're talking about low down performance how good the 07 did for the money this definitely has more power it's definitely a, a bracket higher but the 07 really did handle itself very well and it was all rider to beat one or the other depending on what bike you're driving i would like to say though suspension huge difference the 07 suspension is not very good it's just cheap you can feel it's cheap it, it bounces too easy it's just not good suspension this 09 suspension i haven't adjusted it yet it is definitely a bit on the soft side because i haven't adjusted it but there you can adjust it and it just feels all around way more progressive the chassis I would say feels better too but that could be down to the suspension because this really is a huge difference but i would say that the defining factor to help you decide which one is right for you and compare these two bikes to help you decide which one to buy the deciding factor the main factor is your experience because this mt09 is so much engine it really is i think it's more engine than most people need i think it's more engine than most people can handle it's very easy buying an expensive bike and driving it slow but driving a slow bike and driving it fast driving fast is harder you need skills for it driving fast and safe you know you can splash the cash on an expensive bike doesn't mean you can ride fast or effective and safe this is a hell of a lot of engine for the money the 07 represents a very good middle ground in my opinion so it's more dependent on your ability as to which bike's better for you if you like a lot of torque you like ex excessive torque more torque than you need because you might want a wheelie here or there go the 09 that's for sure so that's my comparison of these two bikes both fantastic bikes i don't think the 07 gets anywhere near enough rep it's a fantastic bike but yeah it's no 09 sure personally i'm really i really like this triple engine this triple engine is it, 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 i call it nuts but i've owned both and that's my opinion on both of them leave a comment below let me know what you think if you've owned either or or you've tried both let me know what you think about both of them and anyway guys like the video share it subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see you guys on the next episode motorman out <laughs>